Hello student engineers, Dan O'Ban here. I'm the communication lecturer. Uh, I deliver three topics and soon four uh, for civil engineering. Uh, the first is how communication works. Uh, this topic is, of course, voice. Um, I do a body language live workshop as well as an online uh, topic and soon we'll be launching the group communication topic. Uh, so they can be taken individually or uh, work as one story developing your skills uh, towards being a skilled communicator. And so the proposition of this voice topic is simple. Um, an awareness of the tool of your voice and that you have a voice to the people around you, to your culture, is essential as you develop towards being a skilled communicator. So whether you're collaborating with groups, uh, pitching ideas, or interacting in a romantic relationship, um, the tool of your voice affects that communication. Whether you know it or not, it affects it. And so it can only affect it positively or negatively. Um, we all know those people who we want to be around who just uh, are engaging uh, and compelling. And there's the other type of people we know as well who uh, we just want them to stop talking. And we tune out of their ideas uh, become bored or um, disinterested very quickly. And so obviously we want to be in the former category, not the latter. Uh, so this topic is structured very simply. Um, re before you read anything, you want to um, do the reading, record your voice. There's a paragraph there uh, to present. Uh, present as if you were speaking to an audience. Um, and then pause once you've done the first recording do the reading, there's something to read, there's something to watch, uh, and consider uh, three areas that you're going to attempt to improve in your voice. Have a few practices, really give attention to those three areas. It might be rhythm, it might be energy, it might be pace, it might be articulation, you choose. Um, after you watch yourself on video, you'll probably become aware of, okay, here's some areas that I can develop in. Um, you may develop others, but just focus on three, please, or it gets too complicated. And then do the reading again, re-record, it's a very short paragraph, um, that talk, uh, with attention to showing me, I guess, as the assessor, that you have made changes or improvements in those three areas. Yeah, so we're not looking for perfection here, we're just looking for an awareness that you are playing with, adapting, trying new things in relation to your voice. Okay, so it'll, this book will lead you through a warm up. It'll explain some of the mechanics uh, and give you some really practical tools on how to do that. Uh, I'm always blown away when I realize how much, it's 30%, 37% of the impact of your message uh, is not even from language or, or nonverbal communication. It's just from the sounds that are coming out of your mouth. Yeah, so that's the mmm, oh, mmm, ha ha, mmm. Or lack of sound. Silence is also very powerful. So if we can take control over that a little bit, we can definitely influence those around us uh, and hopefully for the better. So all the best with your study. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, definitely get in touch. But I look forward to uh, hearing your before and afters. Uh, and don't forget, the attention to detail when you write that final summary. Uh, I've laid out the requirements for this topic very clearly, um, so please go through the criteria grid uh, like, a like a checklist before you submit it so that you can achieve mastery on the first go and uh, we don't have to go back and forth and uh, play tennis a little bit. All right, good luck with your study. I look forward to reviewing your work. Ciao for now.